What's up guys, Chris here from Security Bros, back with another review video. And today I will test this 4 megapixel outdoor Wi-Fi spotlight camera from Xsense. Is it any good? Let's find out. So what we got here is a 4 megapixel security camera with built-in spotlights, which means the camera can record full color at night. And you can set them to turn on automatically when motion is detected, or set a schedule if you want the lights to turn on at certain times. I did experience some problems with motion detection at night. At daytime it worked just fine, but at night the motion detection range isn't more than a couple of meters from the camera. It also says in the user manual that the camera should be placed 2.2 meters up with a 30 degree angle, which is very low for a security camera. So you basically need to stand just in front of the camera for it to detect motion and turn on the spotlights. At daytime the motion detection range is much better, at least up to 15 meters. Hopefully they can do an update to improve the range at night. I think image quality was good for a camera in this price range, maybe not good enough to identify people unless they are really close to the camera, but I think it should work for most situations. At the moment this camera sells for $80 on Xsense website as well as on Amazon, and for full transparency to you guys, Xsense did send me this camera over for review, however any opinions in this video is strictly my own based on my experiences testing this camera out. And if you're interested in buying this camera, you will find my affiliate links in the video description below with the most updated prices. So the camera uses a 4 megapixel sensor that records in 2560 by 1440 at 25 frames per second. And I would guess it uses a 2.8 mm lens, since it has a wide angle lens of 156 degrees. You can use an app called X Smart View to get instant push notifications when the camera detects motion. It supports both 24-7 recording or only when motion is detected. And you can view all the recordings in the app from playback saved on the SD card. And it supports up to 128GB micro SD card. And if you want you can also use their cloud service, but that's optional. But to use AI human detection, you do need to sign up for the cloud service. You can connect this camera to both 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi, and you shouldn't have any problem connecting this camera to most brands NVRs as long as they support Onviv. And I tested to connect the camera to iSpy using Onviv, and that worked just fine. And according to Xsense, it should also work with Google Assistant and Alexa, but I haven't tested that. It does have a speaker and microphone, so you can talk and listen through the camera. And this is how it sounds like when I talk through the camera. It also supports sound detection, but that will give a lot of false alarms. Maybe indoors that will work better. It also have a loud siren that can be triggered when motion is detected to scare away any intruders. And this camera is made for outdoor use with IP66 rating, which means it should be weatherproof. And the working temperatures are minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. And in Fahrenheit I think that's minus 4 to 140. Okay, so what we get in the box is the camera, power adapter, user manual, network cable, sticker, and a bag with screws. So here on the front of the camera we get the lens, PIR sensor, two infrared lights, two spotlights, indicator light, light sensor and a microphone. And to access the SD card and the reset button we open up this cover. To connect the camera to the app is really easy and only takes a couple of minutes. You can download the XSmart View app from either Google Play Store or App Store depending on what device you are using. When you have the app open, tap the plus icon to add a new device, then click scan QR code and scan the QR code on the camera. Select the checkbox and click next, confirm the device flashes blue, then next. Here we need to add our Wi-Fi and password. Now hold the QR code in front of the camera lens until you hear Wi-Fi connecting. When done, click next and wait for it to connect. And that's it. So here on the main screen we can turn on and off the sound, change the image quality, take a snapshot, talk through the camera, 
record video, and here we have quick access to motion and sound detection. In activity detection we can set the sensitivity, trigger interval, schedule, detection area, and link the siren and the spotlight. If we go back to the main screen, we will find all the camera settings in the top right corner. I will just quickly show all the settings, and if there is a setting that you are more interested in, you can just pause the video at any time. Okay, let's have a look at some recordings. This is daytime, recorded with the highest image quality at 25 frames per second, with audio turned on. And here I am at around 10 meters from the camera, and no problem reading a license plate at that distance. And here we get nighttime using infrared, also recorded with the highest image quality. However, this is not in total darkness since there is a street light just across the street. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, why not hit that subscribe button. See you next time.